It's universally recognized that combat sports athletes are generally the toughest of the tough, but some average non-fighting men have the deluded idea that they could actually take on and beat professional female fighters. Some have claimed that there are female fighters out there that could even feature on men's pound-for-pound -pound lists. Today, we are talking about the female fighters that could beat the f out of men. Stay with us. First up, it's the current best around, Valentina Shevchenko. Bullet Valentina is one of those females you would not like to misjudge if you were the type of guy who likes to pick on women, as much as we'd like to see that. She's that good that she could probably beat some of the guys in the flyweight division. The current women's and pound-for-pound -pound best, Valentina, grew up on the tough streets of Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, honing her kickboxing skills from a young age. Holding an amateur kickboxing record of 55-1, and one, Shevchenko was destined for a career in combat sports and made her professional kickboxing debut in 2003. Over her 38 fights in professional K1 kickboxing and Muay Thai, she was only beaten three times. All the while, she was simultaneously competing in MMA, also making her debut in 2003 and going on to win her first seven fights with five submissions and two TKOs. Her first professional MMA loss came via doctor stoppage in her bout against current Bellator women's flyweight champ Liz Carmouche. Following her next four wins, she was signed to the UFC, where she started off at Bantamweight, losing a couple of fights to another all-time great, Amanda Nunes. More on her in a sec, before going back down to flyweight where she has absolutely dominated. Unbeaten in more than four years, she holds devastating power in her kicks, which Jessica I found out at UFC 238 back in 2019. A truly terrifying striker who would make light work of 99% of the men on the planet. What's your favorite Shevchenko performance? Next up, it's Amanda. Stay tuned. One of only four people in the entire history of the UFC, and the only women, to become a two-division champion. Many people believe Amanda Nunes is the best to ever do it. As we mentioned, she holds a pair of wins over world-class striker Shevchenko, and she also went unbeaten for six years from 2015 to 2021. During this period, she took out a who's who of women's MMA royalty, including the aforementioned Valentina, plus former champions Misha Tate, who she submitted, and Ronda Rousey, who she knocked out. This led to an all-Brazil super fight between herself and another women's MMA GOAT, Chris Cyborg Santos, who was many people's favorite going into the fight. Nunes knocked her cold with a huge right hand, but had also earlier dropped her in an amazing performance. She went on to dispose of another former champion in the form of Holly Holm, proving that she was one of the scariest fighters across the entire women's game. A striker with ferocious power, she was finally dethroned just recently against Juliana Pena, but will get the chance to win her belt back again when the pair do battle at UFC 277 at the end of this month. We cannot wait. Another female fighter who would absolutely dominate most men on the planet. Who is your favorite women's MMA fighter at the moment? Let us know below. Another world-class striker coming through now, it's Zhang Wei Li. Former strawweight queen Zhang Wei Li possesses immense power for her size, as world-class fighters such as Joanna Ujacek and Jessica Andreda, and Jessica Andreda can attest to, knocking out exactly half of her opponents across her professional career so far. It's safe to say the Chinese brawler likes to bang. A three-promotion champion, Zhang also has no problem on the ground, winning seven of her professional bouts by way of submission, showing she has an incredible well-rounded fight game. She's also one of only a handful of fighters to win a fight via spinning back fist, which she pulled off in her latest outing against Yuana, retiring the former champ in the process. She is also adept in the kickboxing arena, with four professional fights under her belt. However, it was her 2020 fight with UJ Check for which she will be so fondly remembered when she does decide to finally hang up the gloves. The fight was awarded fight of the year from multiple respected publications and propelled Zhang into the spotlight as a female MMA star. Some people, like respected MMA commentator Joe Rogan, have even suggested it challenges for the greatest fight of all time title, men or women, which is some claim. Zhang won the fight, disfiguring Yuana in the process and cementing herself as one of the toughest women on the planet. No thank you. What is the best woman's fight of all time for you? Yuana is up next. Stay with us. There was a point in the recent past when Yuana Ujacek was one of the most skilled strikers on the planet. After losing three times, to Valentina in the amateur Muay Thai ranks, she won her remaining nine amateur bouts before turning pro. She went 27-3-1 before transitioning to MMA towards the end of her Muay Thai career, and the transition was seamless, winning her first six fights before signing to the UFC. She carried on her good form, winning her first eight bouts the promotion, bagging the Women's Strawweight Championship at the expense of Carla Esparza in the process. However, after being dethroned by the Thug Rose back in 2017, she only won two of her final seven fights and promptly retired after her second loss to Jong last month. Although now retired, she would still be a handful for anyone, and of course, would beat the bejesus out of most men on earth. Savannah Marshall is up next. Stay with us. Never heard the name Savannah Marshall? Don't worry, you soon will. Currently 12-0 in professional boxing, Marshall will go up against Clarissa Shields in her next fight this September. Both are unbeaten in the pro 
world ranks, but Marshall holds a notable win over Shields in the amateurs. One of the biggest punchers in female boxing, Marshall has stopped 10 out of 12 of her opponents, and some have even suggested she has the tools necessary to make problems for some lower-ranked male boxers. Of course, it's universally accepted that Marshall would easily hand out a beating to most average guys on the planet, which is a pretty terrifying thought. Have you guys heard of Savannah Marshall? Next up, the queen of the armbar. Okay, we know, Ronda Rousey hasn't appeared on the octagon for a long time, but she is on the list simply because of what she did for the sport of women's MMA. Ronda made the armbar her own during her career, finishing 7 of her 12 wins via this method. She was also an Olympic judo bronze medalist, which she used expertly in her MMA career, which saw her win not only the UFC women's bantamweight title, but also the strike force bantamweight title. All this made Rousey one of the most recognizable female sports stars back in the mid-2010s, but she retired after back-to-back -back losses against Holly Holm and Amanda Nunes. Whatever happens, she will always be remembered as a true great, and given the fact that she's only 35, don't rule out a comeback just yet. She would almost certainly still be able to crack, and her status as one of the slickest practitioners of the armbar we've ever seen means she would be able to take most men down and absolutely dominate. What was your favorite Rousey performance? And finally, it's Cyborg. Stay where you are. Christiane Justino Venasio, better known as Cyborg, is one of the greatest female fighters of all time, no doubt about it. An expert grappler, she has only been beaten twice across her storied career. Once against the aforementioned Nunes, the other coming in her very first MMA bout, a submission loss against Erica Pius. However, it was her form from her second fight in 2005, until coming across Nunes back in 2018, which had many people, probably right, claiming she was the best female fighter of all time up until that point. Holding a professional record of 26-2, Cyborg was absolutely starching all comers across her 13-year unbeaten run. In those 20 fights, she knocked 17 of her opponents out, which is pretty much unheard of. Many people have suggested that if she were to come up against Nunes one more time, she could avenge her loss, as everybody has an off night, right? A four-promotion title winner, Cyborg is one of the scariest strikers, man or woman, to ever grace the MMA octagon. She is also many respected MMA commentators' female goat, which gives you an idea of just what sort of talent we are talking about here. Now, in the autumn of her career, we still wouldn't like to come up against Cyborg in a poorly lit side street. Who is your women's goat? Let us know what you think below. As usual, thanks for dropping in today, and remember to tune in again next time when we'll be discussing all sorts of other cool bits and pieces. And why not do us a favor and like and share today's video, whilst also subscribing to our channel so not to miss out on more cool videos. Bye, guys!